Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for English. Today, I want to teach you how to use the expression have to. Have to expresses obligation. We have started unit number eight, and you're learning about jobs. For example, a chef. A chef is a job. Look, chefs have to make food. It's their obligation. They have to wash their hands. They have to work in a team with other people. They have to wear a uniform. Let's continue. Now be careful. Sometimes in English we say has to. When? If the subject is he for a boy or she for a girl or it for an object, we say has. For example, a hairdresser. A hairdresser has to cut hair. Of course, it's her obligation. She has to use scissors. She has to be friendly, very important. And she has to make nice hairstyles, of course. Negative. In English, we say don't have to. For negative, we say don't have to. For example, drivers. Drivers don't have to stand up all day. No, that's not necessary. They have to sit down. They don't have to stand up. They don't have to go to university. It's not necessary. They can, but they don't have to. They don't have to wear a helmet normally. And they don't have to like animals. It's possible, but it's not necessary. So we say they don't have to. Doesn't have to. For negative, if the subject is he or she or it, we say doesn't have to. For example, a photographer. A photographer doesn't have to wear a uniform. It's not necessary. She doesn't have to go to university. It's possible, but it's not necessary. She doesn't have to wear a helmet. And she doesn't have to like animals. Again, it's possible, but it's not necessary. So we say doesn't have to if the subject is he, she, or it. Questions. Today, you have to copy questions with have to. If the subject is I, you, we, or they, we say do the subject have to. For example, do dentists have to go to university? Yes, they do. Do they have to work very hard? Yes, they do. Do they have to wear a uniform? Normally, yes, they do. Do they have to work at night? Normally, no, they don't. Okay, and the last one. Questions with have to, if the subject is he for a boy, she for a girl, or it for an object or an animal, we say does have to. Does a waiter have to go to university? No, he doesn't. Does he have to work very hard? Yes, he does. Does he have to wear a uniform? Normally, yes, he does. Does he have to work at night? Sometimes, yes, he does. And now you know how to speak with have to in English. Bye-bye.